Hey, 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 let's jump right into this. You are here because you're like me and you are learning things about yourself that maybe you want to either evolve or maybe you want to get rid of altogether, but you're interested in yourself if you're here and you want to know why you do certain things and how, if you really want to, you can change them. So we're talking about perfectionism, right? I, for one, put strict deadlines on myself (laughs) and I've been doing this since forever and that has caused me to practice perfectionism in many different ways almost to the point where I've I've done it so long that it, I almost feel like I know exactly where it comes from <laughs> now it's just up to me to harness it and put it in the right areas of my life and I want the same for you and I think something that is very helpful is being able to know where these where perfectionism even came from being able to know just why you would choose perfection over imperfection right because like i said in the previous video as babies you know we were so perfectly imperfect to our caretakers you know that it was almost, it would be almost absurd if a child would try to, you know, a baby would try to buy their own food or feed themselves or clean themselves up. So imperfection is definitely something that we learn. And um, perfection is also something that we learn. So I found five different places where perfectionism comes from. So that's five different ways that you develop a perfectionist attitude. And the first way is personality traits. You know, I already said before, I I wouldn't call it a personality trait because that just, to me, that sounds way too hard to change. And I just don't believe that we are that powerless. Um, But For all intents and purposes of this video, I will just say it the way I've read it, which is personality traits. Number one, personality traits such as hypervigilance or um, self-discipline. You know, if you developed a really strong sense of self-discipline from an early age, that can turn you into a perfectionist. And I can absolutely relate to this because you know I like I said I do come from a very uh, high achieving family and you did have to be disciplined most of the time so those kind of personality traits can develop into practicing perfectionism and being concerned with perfection the second bullet point is childhood. Yes, you can develop perfectionism from your childhood. Like let's say if you were if you had demanding or overly critical parents or on the opposite side of the spectrum if you were being excessively praised for achieving. That can trick your brain into thinking perfection and, and achievement is the only thing that matters. It's the only way to get love. And therefore, you can develop a perfectionist attitude towards life and towards your goals and towards your relationships in every area of your life, really. So the second is childhood. The third is a fear of failure. And that I feel like 
says it all. If you have a fear of failure, you're going to look for every single bullet point that could possibly arise. Try to check those off in order to avoid avoid failing because the objective is to not fail. It's not necessarily to win. It's to not fail, right? That's the fear. So if you have like a catastrophic mindset or uh, you spiral a lot, you may think that one characteristic not met means that the whole thing will fail. And that's, you know, that's the, that's the, that's the worst thing ever, right? So that fear of failure can cause you to be a perfectionist, cause perfectionist attitude. The fourth way you can develop perfectionism is through society and culture. And that one's pretty, pretty obvious, I think, you know, I think everybody can feel even if they don't talk about it, that we are overly exposed to other people's lives. And therefore, we have all kind of been susceptible to the trap of comparison. Um, So if you're in a society or a culture uh, that normalizes achievement, success and comparison, then that can cause you to be very self-critical and develop, develop perfectionism as well. And, you know, like I said, we're all on social media, so I can totally relate to that. And that part is something we're all, because social media is here, right? It's here. It's the way we get our information. Sometimes it's the way that we stream or the way that we uh, entertain ourselves. It's starting to become the way we get work you know, so it's here. It's, it's, you can take breaks from it. You can set boundaries for yourself, but I do feel like that's an important thing to know so that you can be motivated to create a boundary with yourself when it comes to social media and the culture, the comparison culture that we're all exposed to. And the fifth way that you can develop a perfectionist attitude is through high pressure environments. So basically, if you are overexposed to a work environment where you always are you're always on a tight deadline or it's a it's a hurry up and wait kind of situation, um that can cause you that that constant pressure. Yes, it can create a diamond, but it can also cause you to be obsessed with perfection and perfectionism and like I said before I don't think that perfectionism or the people who are let's say for me I like to refer to myself as a recovering perfectionist I don't think that that is something that I want to get rid of because I like achieving I like succeeding I like rewarding myself I like receiving rewards um so aiming higher is not something that I condemn myself for and I don't think anybody should condemn, condemn themselves for it. I think that understanding that part of the psyche is key to harnessing it and to using it in the right places in the right spaces. Um I think the term perfectionism is a macro term for over perfectionism. And it's definitely not something to be just let loose in every area of your life. You know, because when are you giving yourself a break? When are you when are you being real? When are you being quite frankly, you know? So, that's it for today. Those are the five ways that you can develop perfectionism. Like I said, I want to spend a little bit of time on this because this is something that I've been dealing with. This is something that a lot of my friends deal with. Um, a lot of women deal with a lot of men, everybody, really, a lot of people I know deal with perfectionism in one area of their life or all of them. And so the more we can understand ourselves, the more we can be in relationship with ourselves and balance out ourselves and have a balanced life. And I personally believe 
having a balanced life is the key to sustaining a happy life. So, breathe. Forgive yourself for literally everything. Yes, even that. And I'll talk to you soon.